Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. We're still going through the bedroom, so let's keep going through the bedroom and go to Dusty Dune Galaxy. And we're actually almost had enough of a look at the bedroom galaxies to actually move on to the next uh, Bowser level. But anyway, before we do that, blasting through the sand. Okay, so we have a few pokies to deal with now, I guess, which aren't that much of a problem, especially if they get really close in like a circle like this and you just spin, taking all of them out at once. But then there's the big one, of course. Maybe we can just get rid of his layers and then pray jump on him. And yeah, let's use this launch star. Okay, um, I think over here though, is also a Hungry Luma. Hey you! Yeah you! Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished, I need 20 star bits to curb the hunger pangs. 20 do you say? That's actually a really good number since I have 21. That's it, I'm stuffed! Here we go! Transform! A new planet was born. But we're probably going to hold off on that for now. And actually, that, this reminds me, I have another star in probably... I think it's the fountain that I have... haven't done the, the Hungry Luma. Well, I have done the Hungry Luma, I just didn't do... Ow! Pain! I just haven't done pain. I haven't done... Oh, this is bad. Oh, jump, please. No, 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 no. Don't move. Actually, maybe move? No, don't move. I don't want to die here. Okay, Mario, get up. And Mario, Mario, ground. Long jump. That one. Oh. Mario, please. Do what you've been... You Do what you're told. Please, land over there. Thank you. I'm tempted to go get that life up shroom since it's going to heal me. Please, Mario, actually go the way I want you to go. There we go. Okay, we're mostly fine now. Mostly. Okay, let's go. And then we get to launch around this planet a little bit. Oh, it's actually a star there. Can I actually go back, please? I want to go get that. That's actually cool if I can grab that. Because that means I can get rid of these boulders. Without having to worry too much. There we go. Let's get rid of these things. If I can get the gravity to work on my side. Oh my goodness. Yes. Revenge. Anyway, there we go. Let's go. Okay. Ow. Anyway, we need to go across this sand now. Which is pushing us all around the place. And now we need to go around this loop, I guess. Collecting. Oh. Collecting these fragments of pool stars. We also need a shell for that other one, so let's go grab the shell. And if I can figure out where that treasure chest is, probably over here, yep. Actually, I think this is the last one you're supposed to get. So where's the other one? Probably on the upside. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you're supposed to be there when you finished, but that's fine. We just need to get over there now, if I can figure out where in 3D space that is. Luckily, the pool stars make it a little bit easier to see where it is. And let's go. Okay, I think we have two ways to go here. I'm not sure what, what the difference is, so I'm just going to pick one and go. Let's go this way. Hopefully there's not, like, two diff different paths to go. I don't think they would be, but maybe the other one... I mean, it could just be that they both have their own separate launch stars that go to the same place as well. But anyway, need to be careful of these... 
these cyclones, I'm pretty sure. Maybe? Or maybe not. No, we don't have to worry about these ones. We just... Yeah. They work the same as the other ones. Just a little bit smaller. Oh, hello, Thwomp. Just want to go past you, thank you. Oh, this is a really bad idea to jump over to this now. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Must survive by mashing the jump button. I can't move. I'm stuck. I'm so stuck, but I'm staying alive just by jumping infinitely. But I'm dead, so I can't really do anything. I'm just going to accept it. It's kind of brutal. That's the sound that he makes when he drowns in sand. Anyway, back to the other side. I like how there's two sides of this place. Maybe I should grab that one up so I don't waste life too much. Although, if I died trying to get that one up, then I would definitely be wasting life. Okay. Let's go over this way. Please don't bother me, shut. Try, uh, dry bones. That's one. I know it had a rye in it somewhere. Okay. Let's go. No, no, no. Why? Not again. I noticed he was making that sound when he was in there. Um, I think this is back where we were just now, so that's good. Just need to be a little, little bit careful with the camera changing. When grabbing and going. Okay, this is the star there, but we can't reach that. So let's go over here. And careful not to jump in the sand by long jumping through the hole. Now, these tornadoes have things flying around them that will hurt you if you touch them, so be careful of that. Also, we can hear the star from here, which is interesting because it's on the opposite side of the planet. But if we ground pound this switch, it moves those platforms under. Which means that we have a limited time to get over there because of the ticking, obviously. And, and the fact that it's a switch. So let's just quickly go this way. And the platforms are there for now. So let's grab the star while we can. There we go. Let's save. And now, if I have probably just about everything at the moment, I think we can go to the next enemy base. So let's go to Bowser's Dark Matter Planet. Darkness on the horizon. So, this darkness stuff that's everywhere in this place is kind of like the quicksand in the previous level. Except, like, instead of drowning in it, you just disintegrate when you touch it. So don't touch it, basically. There's a bunch of traps here too. Just be careful of the gravity. There are also traps of our sorts. So we need to be careful about that. I'll point them out once we actually find some. Can't see any so far. Okay. Oh, don't knock me off, please. Okay. Let's go up this way. We also have the uh, the switching gravity walls, and also these moving platforms, which we need to use just right with the gravity walls, because whenever it switches sides, we need to be able to make sure that we're still on the platform when it changes. Okay, so far so good. Let me just grab this and go up. These are the traps that were mentioned. What they do is they just remove the platform there. They're like antimatter, I guess, whatever it is. The dark matter is eating holes in space. Watch out for them, or you'll fall into that dark matter. So yes, this dark matter here we will fall into whenever these holes are on the platforms, like that. So we need to be very careful not to fall through. 
You can see where they are before actually getting over there because there's a little lighter spots. But you still need to make sure you're paying attention. I'm not going to go for that one up, I'm just going to wait. And also this music, I just wanted to point out this music again while we're actually listening to it. Because I love Super Mario 64's music, especially when it's remixed like this. You need to be careful with that hole there. And that one there. Okay. So let's go up here. The camera's a little bit weird for this, but that's to be expected. And now for the tricky part. So with the other one of these areas before, if we fail, we'd land on a, a platform. But now if we fall, we're going to fall into the dark matter. So we need to be very, very careful on these platforms now. Let me grab this one up before quickly going backwards because that that's going to be bad for us if we're standing anywhere other than on this side. It's so nice being able to have a cursor to point things out. Uh, we need to go this way now without falling off, please. Thank you. That works nicely. Oh my goodness. That was scary. Oh, and I need to get the other, to the other side now, please. Thank you. Oh, and I need to quickly get over to the other side, other side now, before it gets that, because that's just going to pull you into the death. Don't you hate it when you get pulled into the death? Also, I like the mix of 2D and 3D sections in this particular level. But anyway, we've made it up to the top. Let's free these loomers, which makes the stairs appear. Use these stairs here. And let's grab this sh life shroom since we're going to be up against Bowser again. Thanks a lot! Because whenever you go to a, a Bowser level, or a Bowser Junior level, it switches between which one it is in each world. It's you! That's it, Mario. I'm gonna stomp you into space bits. So, each Bowser battle is about the same, but each time it's a little bit different to make it a little bit harder. Now Bowser has a spin attack as well, so we need to be uh, now we need to be able to dodge that. Oh, please spin you! We need to dodge his purple fist. But other than that. Somewhat normal, I suppose. I don't know what other attacks he might have now. And he's also starting off with three laser beams to start off from the beginning. Oh. Oh, two spins. And a dive. Let's go. The planet being transparent somewhat makes it a lot easier to see where Bowser is to spin him. Oh, he's going to stop spinning before I get to him, maybe. There we go. Got him. Bowser's angry now. Okay. I'll dodge the fire and the lasers. Oh, many lasers. Many lasers. And many spin. Much spin. Oh, please. Oh, I think because he hit me, he's actually not going to do it. The dive yet. Please dive me. There we go. Just need to get him, and we should be good. Oh, he's making this all weird. Spin. Spin. And finally, spin. Bwahahaha. <laughs> Not bad. I guess I chose the right guy to be my arch enemy. At least you always put up a fight. But it's too late. It's too bad for you because my master plan is almost complete. Tough luck, Mario.
and we've unlocked the engine room. We have... Oh my goodness. We have ascertained the location of your special one. Please take a look at the circle by your feet. That number represents the power stars you need to reach the center of the universe. The n that number will decrease with each power star you recover. And when it reaches zero, the Comet Observatory will regain full power and fly as a starship again. And then we will be able to reach the center of the universe. So now, we need 22 more power stars to get to the end of the game. So let's head on over, probably, to the new dome. We have a few other things we still have to do yet. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before when we were at the um, the fountain, but these little panel things uh, teleport you between them so you can actually get around the whole comet observatory well enough. But anyway, let me quickly head down here because we've also got a hungry luma that I forgot to do. Hey you! Yeah you! Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform! I'm famished, I need 800 star bits to curb the hunger pangs. Okay, that's a little bit... that's still half of what I've currently got. Guess that will be fine then. Just a lot of star bits. That's it, I'm stuffed! Here we go! Transform! The Big Mouth Galaxy has appeared. Big Mouth's Gold Bait. Scary. Anyway, there's a chest here, and we have this Koopa shell, and throw it at it. Nothing happens. This chest will only open for the shell that shines. So yeah, that's what we have to do. We've also got these new enemy things here. These crabs. If we can get behind them, once we've spin to make them guard, we can kill them like that. Just have to get to their weak point. The blue ones are a lot more defensive than the red ones. Okay, let's talk to this penguin here. This is my hideaway. It's the perfect spot for fishing and being left alone. Sure, okay. Also, I believe these pillars things here are also breakable. Not that we need to do it, but anyway. I think if that shell is back from this Cooper Trooper, I might grab that since it'll make going underwater a lot easier. So let's do that. There are also some boos down here. If you get your light onto them, they die. Now, I believe, while we're holding a shell, we can just go through these blocks as well, which makes things significantly easier. And I might throw my shell at this jellyfish thing. Didn't kill it, but it helped a little bit. Did a little bit of damage, but not enough. So anyway, let's go down now. And we need to collect some launch star fragments while dodging enemies. The fragments are also hidden in the grass a little bit, or the... What's it called? Seaweed. Oh, please. Oh my goodness, inverted swimming controls. Up with up and down. Just need to remember that. Okay, please grab, grab, grab before the eel gets me. Okay. I think there was another one in the middle. Careful not to touch those uh, whirlpool things. I don't know what they actually called. Also, these jellyfish are bad to touch, so be careful of that. But anyway, got everything for the sling star. So let's see if I can go use that if I can. And let's go straight up. 
into the opposite side of this whole thing. We can actually kill that, um, that jellyfish thing that I threw my other shell at. Uh, but it's probably worth just keeping your other green shell since that's the only other one, other shell to grab. Other than this gold shell here that we want to actually keep to actually get that chest open. Because obviously the gold shell is the shell that shines. So, yeah. Oh, hello booze. Let me just take you out if I can. Probably not that many of you that I can take out, but that's fine. But anyway, that's everything we need to do here. So let's just open up this treasure chest. And look who's inside. Man, that was close. Oh, Mario. I almost forgot to tell you something. I was trying to get a star, but I fell into this treasure chest. Let me tell you, it's even smaller than it looks. Anyway, here's the star I found in there. No, really, it's yours. Captain Toad is my treasure. Take this power star. So with that, let's head over to the next dome, the engine room, and then we can probably keep moving from there. The reason I've been trying to get, or haven't been getting, all of the stars in each world or each dome before moving on is because I want to try and show off every... I want to, I want to see every galaxy before going to the end of the game, is what I want to do. I'm not sure if I can do that, but I'm going to try. So here we are in the engine room. Hello. Oh, hello. It might get a little rough from here on out, but just do your best and you'll be okay. So yes, this is where the levels start getting a little bit more difficult. Gold Leaf Galaxy. And Sea Slide Galaxy. It's got a gold leaf, which um, once we get into it may look a little bit familiar. Star Bunnies on the hunt. So yeah, this uh, this place might look familiar to you, but it might be a little bit, a little bit different from how it was before. I mean, it's kind of similar to how it was before. It just kind of flipped. But uh, this is a kind of mirror version to um, Honey Hive Galaxy. Let me just zoom in. Because, you know, there's the tree over there instead of over there. Because it's got the slope there and everything. Oh my goodness. And there's the waterfall which usually has the hole in it. And there's up there with the tree and everything. So it's this, this kind of the same level but it's also a little bit different at the same time. Especially with the autumn look about it. And considering how similar it is to the other level, it even has an L made of star bits over this way, instead of an M made of star bits. So you can see that it's definitely supposed to be, um, like, sister levels, I guess. I'm looking for blue star chips with my brother, but we haven't found any. Okay, well I'll help you, probably. I'm pretty sure when, whenever you find one of these star bunnies, there's usually a blue star chip nearby. Come out, blue star chips! So there should we be one up here. Yep. Okay. I think if I go down here... This swing is pretty much the funniest thing... The funnest thing ever. Not the funniest. The funnest. I can... I know what is happening. Anyway, we can use that to get up here. Where's the star chip? Boing oing. It's right up here. Let me just grab that for you. They're fairly easy to find. There's also probably one down there since there's a star bunny there. There's also a star bunny over here. So let's see if I can get that piece by ground pounding these. 
which I can. I bet you anything you'll find a uh, find blue star chips around here, boing. Okay. Well, I did, so. Let's go over here now. I can smell the star chip, boing. Well, I'll just break this box open then. I don't know why you couldn't get that one. That was that one's fairly easy. I mean, the other ones are a little bit hard to get, but you know, that one, that one, they could have done that one on their own. Now I'm missing one. That star bunny seems to be looking for some for something. Indeed, he was, but I I stole it. So yeah, it's my my claim now. But anyway, we've also got over here that we can go up. I think. Yep. Maybe. Yes, it, it sends us all the way up here. So let's keep looking around here. There's a lot of star bits from hitting that switch there. All, uh, all around the tree. Okay, let's grab this bee mushroom as well. And I think there's also a one up underneath that bridge, but obviously bee Mario can't touch the water. But that's okay. Do you have anything to say? I want a stump, a stump. Okay. But anyway, if we... Oh, get up there, Mario. If we go up here as B-Mario, right over here, and there it is, the last uh, pool star chip. So now we can get to the launch star, which was over by the beginning. I'm going to play in the house with my brother. Okay. We just got this. So many star bits. Absolutely amazing. Another one up. Okay, well, I think with that, let's head over to the pool stars now. Pulling ourselves up most of the way by flying over here early. Let's spin to win. Think you can catch me? Boing. Oh, I don't think I can catch you. I know I can catch you. Just let me, uh, get going here. And I think if I ground pound on this, it makes it a little bit easier to catch you. There's also that question block type, um, like, ice thing that you can hit into a wall to break. But anyway, let's grab you. The walls make it a little bit easier for him to like, for us to catch him because he gets stuck. Boing oing, you got me! Alright then, take this power star. Thank you, you can go now. Don't expect to catch me so easily next time. galaxy in the engine room and a new chapter has been added to the storybook let me quickly look at that new galaxy before I end here not gonna get it to it for a little bit but we'll probably get to it next time actually this is a good one toy time galaxy that one's actually pretty good but anyway I think that is it for now so thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time